Wednesday, May 24th, around 11 a.m. Eastern time, also market time. Okay, so let's look at what happened to the ES. I mean, as I was saying, right? This looks like it's like the beginning of that retracement, right? And I was hoping, well, I'm not hoping. I'm targeting around this area here, right? Which is 4,100. You know, 10 points, give or take. That will be a decent retracement to neutralize this area, if that makes sense, right? This area has been trying to neutralize for a long time, right? And you can you can you can see here like it 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 really did accomplish that and like really neutralizing for a while, right? It was like nine days, and then we had the breakout, which was really just a fake out, right? like the final squeeze of this retracement because this should have retraced in this area right here, right? This looked like it was about to retrace, do its thing, come back here and then and then retry to bounce or trend slower, uh, lower, right? But you can see that every time it tried to sell off, it would just get squeezed, another squeeze here, and then this held, right? So it's like it's holding these people just tight. Like anyone that's short here is just like not liking this. And then finally it looked like it was about to sell off. And mo like <laughs> most of these uh, holders here will be like size like averaging in so they can get out for break even. Well, some of them didn't get a chance to do that. So they got blown out, right? And then we get another move. So now, is this a move of everyone short here being squeezed? Or is this a move of everyone just going long here and then just like using uh, more money to bring the price up, right? Now, usually when you have a consolidation like this, you will have a breakout eventually. Now, is that a breakout because of the people? You, like, okay. The idea behind it is, the breakout has a lot of people trying to go long or trying to, sorry, the consolidation has a lot of people trying to go long or trying to, and, and people trying to go short, right? The more it consolidates, the more people are going to be invested. And then at one point, one side or one person or, or just someone like slams the bid or or the ask, right? In this case, and then everyone that's short here, they have to cover, right? So that adds fuel to the fire, right? And then people that are breakout buyers, they buy in, right? And they move the price up, right? Now, yes, this stayed here because a lot majority of the people that were in here, they were like long bias. So this thing, obviously there's profit taking around these zones, right? We formed our high, which was like right there, right? And then, right, which re reject, reject, and then you're going to get the final sell off because this movement was caused by a short squeeze, not by a, not by people that were willing to hold, right? And even if they are willing to hold, I mean, this move happened so fast after this so you, you know there's a lot of volume we're waiting to take profit here as well right so the the side that won has a lot of profit takers and yeah they, they're all going in here and then you know they tried to make it look like they wanted to take it a leg up which makes it even better for people to get trapped even harder and finally like if you see this like fail fail and not higher fail the thing is this took out a lot of liquidity on the, in areas that were like relevant from a while ago right so that liquidity got taken out and now look like you know it was not it right that wasn't the spot where we we're gonna break out of right now we could you know everything i'm saying here could be wrong and they could just like trap shorts and just take it up right but at this point in time 
we are under the impression that they're taking it down. We don't know why they're taking it down. Is it because they have too many contracts that they need to take some profit so they can size in at a better price? Like just want to take the price down to size in at a better price? Or are they just... Are they just trying to basically fake out the longs while trapping shorts and then taking it out another leg up, right? Taking it back to the 40... Like not back, but trying to come into the 4300s right close to that just breaking out above 4200 right would be a bullish really bullish sign right okay so let's go into the intraday i know that was a lot to take in there so i was just looking at this right and then you can see here that Finally, on this day when we had this massive sell off, right? Like that's an indecision, like that's a massive indecision. And then you can see the whole day was just, oh, we're going to take it up. No, bring it back here. So a lot of, a lot of the volume got grinded in here at the 4200s. And then we, and then they, after market, the price tried to even go higher, right? And then it just stopped. They just sold off and then they gapped it down. And then the, in the morning, of uh tuesday morning right there's literally very hard to trade this right that was monday this tuesday yeah so it's like here it's really hard to trade because they are kind of pushing it up but they are making a a bear flag right they're making a bear flag like that which makes it bad which is bear it's it's bearish but again they could have squeezed it up to here before they took it down but the it's just the weight of this was so high and there was a lot of volume thinking that this was the dip buy and they all got wrecked right they all got squeezed and then you see these like clean bounces right to size in size in then bring the price down to here right this broke down midday around noon right which makes it even more interesting because, you know, most people would have stopped trading here because I was one of them, right? I was thinking like, okay, well, they're going to just hold this thing up like this up for the whole pro probably day and then maybe take it up a little bit here and then do this, right? So I was thinking like the next day this would just pop and go, but it didn't do that because it was just, they were already ready to do it and they did it midday really sneaky. And they stopped it at like, a, like end day because most people come back here, right? To trade the, the close and then this pretty much side uh side traded and then got gapped down by europe and then we're basically today we're opening up on another gap down which is you know you're chasing here if you're shorting but again it was a nice short here right it gave a really nice sell off it makes sense for the longer term right what i was saying in my previous videos that this looks like it wants to retrace like it needs to retrace we just know we don't know how how much but it is like the top it was topping there right now they didn't really let us play because they they topped it like aftermarket then they took it down you know pre-market or like at the open europe open right they took it down and then they literally sold it off. Basically, because it's just a now we're in a in a in a in a bearish trend on this small portion of the formation, right? So now is this going to be a dip buy that will take the price all the way back here? You know that could be a yes, but we might see this area get tested first before we see something like that, and that's my that's my uh read on this but this could might this might as well be the dip right because we never got a dip here right i would have i would have i would have thought we we're gonna go like this like that like that right we never did this right so for that reason only i'm thinking we're gonna get something like that but it could go it could do this and do that right it could happen here or somewhere around here right and yeah profit taking areas around here right 
if if you're going long here, then some here, right? Yeah. Or we can break down even more and retest this area here. All right, do something like this. Yeah. Those are the those are the scenarios that I'm looking at right now. So if one of those scenarios plays out, there's gonna be a decent play, and that's the way we gotta play it right now, in my opinion. You can't really trade. Like, look at this, you know. You could have taken this sell-off from the open because we were, like, really bearish. And we it looks like we're, we're starting a trend where it's, like, pure selling off. And then we don't know where it's going to stop. But here, there's some signs that it wants to stop right here. Right? This area right there. But the ideal, the ideal area would have been here. So, we should have seen something like that. We could still see it, right? As soon as I stop recording, it's going to do that. And then, yeah. So, is this the actual uh, the actual support? I mean, if we go back, we do have support here, right? So, yeah. Any, any of this area right here was like, was considered heavy support back. Right? You see a lot of rejections here this was the area that made the, the price go up so this is where a lot of people went long and a lot of people went short so the shorts got squeezed the longs didn't have no follow-through right this was pretty much the top and then you have this like sell-off which like which people expected it to look like this consolidation like that right like this whole zone right there what's going to should, should have happened there right should have seen something like this well they got saved and then the, fi the final people are expecting a breakout it looked like it was going to do that right it really did but then it's just they really had all these positions they wanted to like get rid of here and now they're gonna start buying back here here right maybe even here Maybe they're gonna shake out this whole period right there and then take it up. Those are the those are the scenarios that I'm looking at currently. But we could have a pop here to the 1450s, right? We just don't know. But I'm expecting this. I'm more I'm more biased towards the we we, we retest 4100 and then see what happens or get close to 4100 because right now we're in a we're in a sell-off day and that's a sell-off day yeah we're in a sell-off day and that's like and we're in like a two-day sell-off right you can actually say that even this day was a sell-off day right even though we closed green we did hit the top right and i believe this was the day that actually hit the top and then sold off really hard i mean that's a big like everything that happened in this area got deleted by this and this so like everything in here right now has been deleted by these two moves so basically what that means it's like we're just neutralized and the neutralized area is really around the 35 but we're we're going below that and just cutting through so i would i would expect uh you know the price to have some kind of a real protection in this area right something like that anywhere anywhere here right but i would i would expect it to bounce here right do something like this then go up or break down and come back here and then go up and then retest this area and then decide if it's gonna go down but right now we don't know. This could might this might as well be a bounce and then just like everyone that was like super short here. Well, they're finally gonna get squeezed to this area here, right? Which is the forty three hundred. So I'm expecting a bounce here, but I'm more. I wouldn't be surprised if this hits one hundred before we bounce, right? But if this holds and it just shows a little bit more strength and volume comes in. 
Yeah, it's an easy, it's an easy, like, it's a, it's an interesting spot here to get short, uh, bull trapped, right? Even though, even though it's like a good risk reward. But also a short trap here is more, more likely to happen, right? Because the risk reward is really bad because like, what can you, you know, you can't even risk any, you can, you have to risk where, where you get in, right? So for that reason alone. We can't really short this to here, right? Because at any point, this could just bounce. So if it's weak, you can you can fade this, but really you need to fade, you need to follow the price, because this could just get squeezed. I mean, it could get bought up really fast, and you and like pretty much the whole day sell off could just recover in one in like the last thirty minutes, right? So that's the thing uh, we are looking at right now, and. Other than that, yeah, we just need to see what happens in this area here. If it's going to just get saved or it might just consolidate here the whole day and then get, get gapped up tomorrow. So we don't know yet, but the big players are just scaling out, but they could just be pyramiding long, right? Because they did make like a lot of money on this move. So finally, you know, they're ready to... Uh, yeah, I mean, we are we were getting into that zone where it's like, okay, that was good, right? That was good, right? This, you know, you know what I mean? Like we're fanning out, so it's like, yeah, losing losing momentum. So now, I think it's too late to short here. It's more more likely to get a bounce. So I wouldn't touch it here pretty much what I'm saying. It's like if it gets here, I would be interested in going long. But if it's doing this here, it could just like slam long, short here and then go long, right? So that's not worth going long here. It's not looking good to go long. Like you're really jumping the gun because you could actually get squeezed by like 15 points and then see the long go. And shorting here is just like, I mean, you're catching the trend, but the trend is like the, the risk reward is really bad, right? You're trying to make this much and you're risking more than that, right? You have to risk this area at least. Well, you don't have to do that, right? You can just close it right there. But you have no big area to short off of. So right now, it's just not a good place to, to play that. And I think for that reason, they made it they made it like this. So they don't want people to... Uh, like, this is the, all the profit they gave us right because they don't want they, they don't want retail to just be sizing in these trades because they yeah they just basically snuck it under like it just gapped it down and like with a fake gap up into into a gap down right which is really bad because a lot of the volume didn't get a chance to get out and i think maybe whoever is making the move they were the only ones they were able to profit and you know one or two percent of retail or whatever people that have a good insight they could have they could have seen this read you know earlier but that's pretty much it i mean yeah it was an interesting day like this is a really interesting like setup right the way this set up the whole time and now it's just not even showing any strength which makes me think the big players are sizing out now i do i think they're going to be sizing out forever no, but they could size out to any of these zones here. And if they si if once they get to these zones, they're going to decide if they're going to size in or not. But right now, I would just consider this a potential bounce zone. Till we unproven otherwise, right? That's it. Just stay safe right now and just pay attention to these setups and play them accordingly. Yeah, stay safe and good luck.